the Saraswati River, late Sri Venkatraman's vision unfolded. A copious free-flowing perennial river, Saraswati, wherever Vedic culture flourished 10,000 years back. A glacial-fed majestic river started its journey from the great height of Himalayas, ran down in rapids and torrents, cutting deep valleys through the mountains and gathered in its bosom wild currents of Satlaj, Yamuna, Grishatvadi and small and big rapid streams and rivers and flowed along the plains of Rajasthan, Haryana, Punjab for 1600 kilometers long to finally drop down into the Arabian Sea. No wonder such a mighty river was the seat of all the wisdom, knowledge and culture of our ancient civilization ever brought forth. The Vedas, Puranas, Upanishads, Dharma Sastras all had it genesis in the lap of this pristine river which was a life giver providing food, water and nourishment to the evolved sages from whose mind the wisdom flowed aided by Mother Saraswati. The Saraswati is praised lavishly in Rig Veda as the best of all rivers. Ambitame, Naditame, Devitame Saraswati, Aparatsya Iva Smasi, Yashtim Amba Nashkarattum. O Mother Saraswati, you are the greatest of mothers, greatest of rivers, and greatest of goddesses. The Hymen Rig Veda mentions the Saraswati between the Yamuna in the east and Satlaj in the west. It is clear such a mighty river is no more with us. Where the river flowed once lies now the sands of desert Rajasthan. The history, antiquity and the mighty culture which arose from its banks have always intrigued many who had tried to ponder on it the unsolved riddle of its disappearance. Late Sri Venkatraman too was in the quest of unraveling this mystery of his disappearance. He was a geologist, scientist and a researcher and wanted to bring to the world the truth of his existence backed by clear scientific proofs. He firmly also believed the river banks was the place where our ancient rich civilization came about and flourished. In his quest, he travelled far and wide along his old course. He travelled to Adibadri and along the Satlaj to study the area. He travelled to Jaisalmer and witnessed for himself the dry, dry Gagar river bed and visualised the vast Saraswati which must have been flowing there. He tracked down the Diava Prithvi pillars near Basanbeer which was supposed to have been used for astronomical observation nearly 20,000 years ago. He spent innumerable hours in libraries, meeting scientists all over the country. He studied the Puranic tests to understand the southward travels of Agastimuni. He was a dreamer who was also grounded by the years of training in scientific fact-finding. Now, how and when this mighty flowing Saraswati disappeared and went underground? Well, it's a geological event. Like a huge jigsaw puzzle, the earth crust is made up of moving plates which fit into one another and stand precariously. Any changes in the hot interior molten state causes changes in the exterior crust of the earth. Now due to the dynamic changes which occurred 10,000 years back, a huge Yamuna tear in the Shivalik ranges occurred pushing the landmass eastward, which made the shift in the flow of river Yamuna, directing it towards river Ganges. 
while the same tectonic activity also caused the landmass to tilt west of Saraswati towards uh, west pushing river Sutlej towards river Indus. And lo, the river Saraswati having lost its two mighty limbs, Sutlej and river Yamuna was then fed by only rain-fed rivers and also its original source also shifted its source making the river to gradually dry and disappear. The river might have disappeared but its impact and the life it infused still lives on with us in the form of, pearl of pearls of knowledge and wisdom. The land between Saraswati and Drishatpati is called Brahmavatra which was the seat of Vedic culture as expounded in Manuspriti. Even the present day DNA samples have revealed the inhabitants of this area share genetic traits with the present day Indians. All that conclusively proves many of us are the descendants of the bygone river civilization. And hence it is our prime duty to understand and acknowledge our heritage and worship Goddess Saraswati and River Saraswati which are not only synonymous but also represents one another truly.